Welcome to this guide on understanding and stabilizing pH in koi ponds. If you're a pond owner, learning how to maintain a stable pH is crucial for keeping your koi healthy and your pond thriving. pH is a measurement of the acidity or alkalinity of your pond water. For koi ponds, the ideal pH range is between 7.5 and 8.2. Sudden pH drops can cause serious stress or even harm your koi fish. Let's explore why pH drops happen and how to prevent them. Several factors can lead to sudden pH drops, including heavy rainfall, excess organic waste, and low buffering capacity. Understanding the cause is the first step to fixing the problem and maintaining a healthy environment for your koi. Buffering, or KH, plays a critical role in stabilizing your pond's pH. Carbonate hardness, measured in degrees of KH, helps prevent dangerous pH swings. The ideal KH range is 5 to 9 dKH, or 90 to 160 ppm. When KH is too low, your pond is vulnerable to sudden pH crashes. To keep your pond's pH stable, regular testing is essential. Use liquid test kits for accurate readings. Test your pH and KH levels in the morning and evening. A stable pH between 7.5 and 8.2 along with KH levels between 5 and 9 dKH, is the key to a healthy pond. If your KH is too low, raising it safely is simple. Baking soda or sodium bicarbonate is an effective solution. Add it gradually. One teaspoon per 50 gallons of pond water will raise KH by 1 dKH. For a 3,000-gallon pond, that means adding 1.25 cups or 300 grams daily to increase KH by 1 dKH. Always test your KH and pH levels after each adjustment. Here's a step-by-step -step dosage plan for a 3,000-gallon pond. On day one, add 1 1.25 cups, or 300 grams of baking soda. This will raise your KH by 1 dKH. Repeat this process daily until your KH reaches a stable level between 6 and 8 dKH. Monitor your pH daily to ensure stability. Long-term stability comes from good maintenance practices. Regularly test your pH and KH levels. Avoid overstocking and overfeeding your koi. Remove organic debris and clean filters frequently. For natural buffering, consider adding crushed coral, limestone, or oyster shells to your filtration system. While stabilizing your pond's pH, avoid common mistakes. Adding too much baking soda at once can shock your koi. Ignoring KH testing can lead to unexpected pH crashes. Excessive rainwater and neglected filter maintenance also contribute to pH instability. Regular monitoring of pH and KH is the key to a healthy and thriving koi pond. By following these simple steps, like raising KH with baking soda and maintaining good pond hygiene, you'll keep your pond stable and your koi happy. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more pond care tips.